Hi Ferret World! This is Courtney and Joey and today's video is going to be on how to teach your ferret to jump through a hoop. And first off, I'd like to thank all of you at Ferret World who have already gone to my channel, Joey the Trained Ferret, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. And for those of you who have not yet, please go over and subscribe to my channel if you like the videos that you've seen from me on Ferret World. So, to get started, all you will need is your clicker and a hoop. This hoop is just a little plastic hoop. It's actually an embroidery hoop that you can get at craft stores. It's a perfect size for a ferret. If you can't, if you don't have a craft store in your area, you can get one online. It's just an embroidery hoop that people use for cross stitching. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my clicker in my left hand. And if your ferret hasn't investigated the hoop and looked at it, let him sniff it. Okay, so your first step after that will be to put the hoop on the ground, get your clicker, put the treat in front of his nose as he goes through it, you click, and when he's all the way out, you give a treat. Just like that. Okay. So that's pretty easy. So once he's got that, go ahead and add the hand signal, which I just use this and I say jump. So. Sometimes you have a lot in your hands. <laughs> okay, so, oh, not yet, bud. All right, so jump and give the treat. Okay, so I'm clicking right as his head goes through the hoop, and then I give the treat when he's all the way through it. So now I'm going to raise the hoop up a couple inches. Say, Joey, jump. Oh, he kind of messed up, but that's okay. You still reward it when they're first learning. It won't be perfect at first, but you still want to reward it and then you can get more picky over time. So again, shall we jump? Oh, much better. Good boy. Okay. Once he's consistently going through it, get rid of the clicker. And you can, oh, you don't need that. It's the bag of chicken up there. Okay. Alright, so the you can continue raising it, see how high your ferret can get. I, I don't go much higher than like four inches. Here, Joey. Come here. No, you don't get the bag of chicken. Come on. Jump. Good boy. So there you go. Wow, ah, he's running away. <laughs> okay. So those are the steps to teach him how to jump through a hoop. Um, now, in the beginning, when he was first learning, he when I raised it the couple inches, he would do things like this. He'd put his paws on it, he'd push it down. He would try to go around the hoop, under the hoop, bite at the hoop, <laughs> all sorts of things. So if your ferret does that, that's okay. Just be patient. The key to training a ferret is patience and training only five to 10 minutes a day and it's just for fun and keeping that in mind. If you get frustrated, they'll figure out that you're getting aggravated and they won't want to do it. Because if they get confused or, you know, frustrated, they're just going to walk away. And you don't want that. You want to keep training fun. So, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great day. Say bye, Joey.